973 for the rolling quiz. Have a night out to remember at one of Europe's major night spots, Mirage in Windsor. Mirage is open seven nights plus lunchtime shows. See the stars, Joe Longthorne, The Drifters, Freddie Starr, and many more. Dance, dine, enjoy superb cabaret. From Windsor, 856 now for bookings. From October the 3rd, see top comedian Jim Davidson. There's a great Mirage discount of £5 to the first 20 callers who mention this ad. Call Windsor, 856 now. Enjoy this weekend through the night with LBC. Call 071-973-9733. And remember, if it's murder after midnight, just ring Clive live after one. Yats in Kennington. Hello, Yats. Hello, Clive. Hello. Um, the Woody Allen question. Please. Yes. Is it other people? Other people. No, it's not. It's not. No. Hello. Sorry. Oh, Can I say hello to Martin? You just did. Paul in Islington. Hello. Hello. It's um, Doris's... Um, oh, Doris's one. song, yes. Yeah. Um, I think it's Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Bridge Over Troubled Waters. It's not Paul. No. Sorry. Chris in Walthamstow. Hello, Chris. Morning, Clive. Morning. How are you? I'm retrospective. Oh, indeed. Oh, get him, yes. Oh, I'm upset. Oh, I won't ask why. Well, you ought to. No, I won't. No? Which oh, question, Chris? How many people on the other side of the moon? You tell me. Six. Six? No. No? No, not I'm six. I'm sure you're leaving, Clive. Uh, well, I'm not leaving altogether. You're not? I know, I'm just leaving this um, this particular slot. What? What's that, Jonathan? Sorry? Mm. Uh, Chris? Oh, he's gone as well. Fine. Uh, Agnes in Kentish Town. Oh, yes, here I am, Doc. Hello, Agnes. How are you? Uh, retrospective, I Agnes, the, as you may have gathered. I go for the men in the moon. Oh, no, you might have gathered. You're, you're doing what? I go for the men in the moon. Oh, yes. How many men in the moon, Agnes? Two. Two? That's my make one. Ah, really? No, it's not two. Sorry about that, but thank you for trying. Um... Yeah, what I was saying to Chris, um, the uh, the new lineup for Through the Night will be uh, Therese on Monday and Tuesday, and Mike from uh, Wednesday through to Sunday, Mike Carson. Um, but I won't be completely away from the station, so I'm sure that we will talk again. Um, and I must say, in case I forget to do it later, thank you very much for all the nice cards and letters and presents. Uh, I really have been very touched by it all, and any that require or a, a, a reply seems appropriate, I will be doing that as well. So many thanks indeed. Ian in South Ryslip. Hello, Ian. Hello, Clive. Hello. Sorry to see you're going. Yeah, well, I've just just got everybody at work to. Uh tune in to you at the yeah. weekend and you're disappearing so uh, oh well I shall I'm be sure I'll be, I'll be popping up in <laughs> so to speak so don't worry right which question um the astronauts yes um well I worked out every Apollo mission from Apollo 8 to Apollo 17 went round that's 10 and there's 3 crews so that's 30 yeah quite close but not dead right Ian but many thanks for trying Dan in Highgate good morning good morning Clark. hello Dan uh, can I go for the one second pop hit? Yeah, what do you think it is? I think it is Sting, Mad About You. Sting, Mad About You? Oh, I think it is, Dan. Uh-huh. Very good, well done. Thank you, you very you much. You recognise that, obviously. Indeed. Very good. OK, thank you, Dan. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so, I think that's six down and about three to go. What's a half saddle? Doris and Alan's song we want to know about. How many men have seen The Far Side of the Moon? Woody Allen's latest film. And which group were once known as the Screaming Abdabs? If you want to try any of those questions, call us now for the rolling quiz on 071 973 9733. And here comes that one second pop hit. It's Sting, Mad About You.
Yeah, that's the one second part pit. Very well done. It was Sting Mad About You. And there are still questions available for the rolling quiz. We've got to get through all these before we roll to a gentle halt. Doris and Alan's song, we want to know. Uh, which group were once known as the Screaming Abdabs? Which current football player has played for both England and Scotland? Woody Allen's latest film, not yet been released. We want the title of it. How many men have seen the far side of the moon from a spacecraft? And what is half a saddle? All those remaining, if you want to have a go, 071-973-9733. And you can start calling on the topic of your choice uh, very shortly as well, after the news. And in retrospective mode, we'll be bringing you Rodway of Belgravia, The Delay Calypso, Ronna Clapham's Song, Lynn Picknett, The Best of the World of the Unexplained, George with his crossed line, Percy's song specially composed for this uh, last edition of the programme, the... Uh, uh, the music of Jan on the organ, we've got the LBC All-Star Band, the Noah Beery debate, and uh, Charles of Camden, of course. Let's not forget Charles of Camden, and our live link up with South Coast Incremental Radio, if we can fit it all in. That's all live with Clive, the weekend through the night, and your calls are welcome on 071-973-9733. all in generation town. game. It's good for business, this. Love helps the world go by. What about your um, your hearing difficulty, though, Rodway? I know you were having trouble. Have you sorted out your ear aid? Ah, last night, dreadful noise. I thought it was an air aid, too. No, uh, no, your ear aid. Oh, uh, uh, ear aid. Yes, yes, I think that's working all right now. But um, I'm not really thinking much about my ear aid. I'm, I'm very sad. Let, let me tell you, it a saddened pleasure talking to you, Clive. It, it was a saddened pleasure. So what were you calling about, Rodway? Uh, well, I was wondering if any of your listeners might be able to give me a decent recipe for turkey, for cooking turkey. Oh, really? Why? Yes. Well, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a turkey um, sort of around. Um, it, it, it's in the kitchen yeah. near the telephone. Um, yes. It's still alive. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I was wondering was, uh, I picked it up from the, from the butcher, and he said you need to give it two days for each pound. So I'm about to kill it and uh, put, put some of it in the oven. Oh, dear. So do you think that's right? Do you, do you think you're, you're up to that? Well, I'm, uh, certainly the, the turkey's up to, my, up to my shoulder. Oh, really? Quite a big it's turkey. a big one, isn't it? Yes, very big. So I think you might have got... What did the, the butcher say again? Two, two days for each pound. Two days for each pound? Yes, so I thought, well, if I put it in tonight, it should be ready in time for Christmas. Um... I'm just wondering, I forgot to ask you, we were conducting a survey this morning about a white Christmas. Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm just dealing with the turkey. Can, can you hold on a moment? Yes. Yeah. Taste that. And that. But I, I think I've done it. Well, I hope you haven't done anything too drastic, Rodway. No, I, I, think, I think it's all right now. Because I find that the presentation isn't too good. And I do like, if I'm listening, I like to hear something that sounds moderately professional. Okay, Emily. That's why I listen to you so yes. much, Clive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do our best. <laughs> and Moderation Bob. in all things. Uh, Rodway in Belgravia. Hello, Rodway. Ah, uh, hello there, Clive. How are you? Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, listen, uh, it's a bit of a treat for me. I, I don't normally phone uh, your show on Saturday night, but I was lying in bed um, listening to it, and I suddenly heard Bob Harris's voice vibrating the cabinet of my radiogram. <laughs> so I felt I had to phone in and chat to the dear boy. Well, Rodway, this is the first time you and I have met, isn't it? It's well. And I have heard you many times on Clive's programme. Yes. He's doing sterling service for you, Bob, actually, with his fan club. Yes. I, I, heard, I heard you last night, actually, Rodway. Yes? Yes, indeed. I was uh, lying in bed at home. Ah. listening to Clive, and then listening to you about your, the, the problems you have with your house at the moment. No, I don't want to talk about that. Very concerned I was. Yes, I don't want to talk about that at I, all. I had a sleepless night because of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> yes, I know, dear. <laughs> uh, my, I just thought I'd point out to Bob that my mother came up to LBC um, because she's very, very keen to meet you. Um, and uh, she went up to the man at the door and uh, said, said to him, you know, can I meet Bob Harris? Uh, so he went off and, and came back with a fellow who had um, Acme Cleaners written on his back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me, Rodway. Yes. Uh, she was wondering whether you had a, a, a separate job there as well, a little job on the side. Yeah, I just actually broadcast in my spare time. Ah. <laughs> he's got a day oh, job well, as well. Oh, that would make 